Good morning. Today is Thursday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Now, my son served 23 years in the U.S. Navy, and life as a veteran is not that easy. It was not easy on his family, his wife, and his kids. Starting our shores, and he went as far as the Far East and Korea and places like that. And he was happy to do it. And I'm proud of him. And I'm proud of all the veterans in this country. And I want to thank every one of them for the service that they have given to this country. Today I want to talk a little bit about a dude, a gentleman who's a member of Congress, Jira Ocasio-Cortez, who's one of the people that this gentleman attacked in an animation. And she called him a dude. Just a collection of wet toothpicks. White supremacy, she said, is for the extremely fragile people and sad men like him, whose self-concept relies on the myth that he was born superior because deep down he knows he couldn't open a pickle jar or read a whole book by himself. Now, she was forced to say that because he had attacked her several times. The gentleman I'm talking about is Representative Paul Gosar, Flagstaff, Arizona, a a dentist by profession, and yet he turns out to be a congressman. Now that, to me, indicates he might not be such a good dentist, because I'm sure that being a dentist would earn him more money than being a congressman. So what did Gosar do? Gosar and his media consultant or technologist, or whatever they wanted to call this person. This is somebody who was capable of changing animations and things like that, of using pictorial. So they got this animation called Attack on Titan. That's the name of the cartoon that Gosar and his uh, advertising advisor decided to alter. So what did they do? Now, this fight of the Titans, the Titans are evil, and everybody is out to kill them. So in this animation, this anime, as they call it, he placed Ocasio-Cortez's picture, her face, on one of the Titans. And he had his face placed upon one of the attackers. And with his sword drawn, he cut off a head or slashed or something. And then it proceeded to show Joe Biden, and Joe Biden was under attack by him with two swords. He had two swords, and he was going to attack the president. And his compatriots in this altered video were Bobart and Marjorie Taylor Greene. That's an appropriate trio. Now, I don't know if he follows the QAnon theories, But he clearly associates with white nationalists. And he has been known to stand up and say a lot of defensive things about the January 6th event. Here's the evil part of this. No one in the leadership of the Republican Party has stepped forward. Told Congressman Gosar that he is way off base producing a video like that about the president and killing one of his associates. You know, they can disagree. Congressmen and congresswomen can disagree with one another. They can stand the party lines and talk it, but one does not attack them in this fashion. In fact, this attack was so bad. It was a Twitter. This event took place on Twitter. It was so bad that Twitter has put one of its reprimand notices on this particular piece of video. You can't retweet this. You can't copy it. You can watch it because in Twitter's mind, it's important for the public to see things like this. Now, I don't know why they're making that concession to this video, but they have put one of these anti-violent 
notices on it that this is violence and it's really unacceptable, but they haven't taken it down. And in addition to Twitter leaving it on, there's no repercussions within the leadership of the Republican Party. The minority leader, Kevin McCarthy, cheers him on with with excuses. And that indicates to me that McCarthy and the other Republicans are happy to have him as a spokesman. And they don't get their hands dirty, but they just defend him with lame excuses. And also as digital director, that's the word, the digital director, she's the one that helped him make this make this awful video, says everybody needs to relax. This is just a a fun event, you know. But it's no real fun event. Not when he cheered on the white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, along with making all kinds of excuses with January 6th. So this guy is really far off center, far, far to the right. It's a pity that we have a man in this position who promotes violence. Attack on Titan with a sword. Does he really think that is humor? Animation. And I try to get a little humor into my speeches, my rants. But I wouldn't think about attacking somebody. Visually attack with a sword. That's a life and death situation. It's not like calling Ocasio-Cortez stupid or uninformed or what does she know, or something like that. That's, you know, that's politics. That's what you say. You say, I don't agree with her. I think she's wrong. Prove it to me that she has the right idea, that she can spend this money, that she can make this money. Stand on the grounds of some issue. A sword attack is not standing on the grounds of an issue. Sword attack is blatant stupidity. It's mean. It indicates that you haven't got the mental acuity to stand up and speak intelligently about any subject if you have to resort to animation. And you didn't even design the animation yourself. You just copied a bunch of stuff and put pictures, put somebody's face in it. No no creativity involved. Nothing. The man is a big zero. And Ocasio-Cortez was right about him. He couldn't open a jar of pickles by himself, you know. So I will leave you with that thought. I leave you with the thought of how poor wow, people like Gosar and Green, Taylor Green, they say it's a shonda that we have a Republican Party in this country right now. This Republican Party is acting like, I don't know, like, there's no good word for them. I mean, I could throw a curse word or two out there, but there's no real good word, no real good description. I guess destructive is the best word. Destructive. Well, I leave you with that this morning, and I'm sorry that I ruined your Veterans Day, perhaps, but I really, really appreciate everything the veterans have done for us. Bye.